Uh, shalom, shalom, everybody. This is Mama Sia One, Dr. Prophet Lydia Mukoni. We are still here at the farm. This is our farm where we do our prayer mountain tour, our prayer mountain experience. This is the place where I spend time three days every week, sometimes seven days or 14 days uh, for prayer because I wish, it is my wish, it is my prayer that when I prophesy, I must prophesy what comes from God, not to prophesy what others or what the the emotions are saying okay the business of the day i want to help you to pray the correct way so that you can get your results you might be watching me and you are saying mama see what i've been praying i've been fasting i've been doing all kinds of things i have been knocking into different doors but no nothing to prove nothing to can show let me tell you god he is the omniscience God. He checks the heart of a person who is praying. Now, number one, you cannot go before God in prayer with pride. Check your heart. If your heart is having pride, forget about the results. If you come to Mamasia 1 without faith, and but you are looking for results. Forget. Why? Because it means you have come to me to check what I can do. You have wasted your time. So now when you come before God asking God for, for answers, you know, God can use somebody, can use anybody to be of an answer to you. Maybe he can use you. He can use me for you. Now, you are looking for a breakthrough. You are looking for answers. But check your heart. If your heart is not broken, forget about the results. If your heart is having pride, forget about the results. If your heart is not uh, uh, committed on the issue, you are double corrected kind of heart, you are thinking doubts and all, forget about the results. Number two, if you're asking something before God, my question is, is there anything that you can put before God and say, God, look at what I have done for you. You know, I know every man by the name of Hezekiah. Prophet came to him and say, prepare your house for you shall die. This sickness is going to kill you. The, the king went before God. The Bible says... He prayed facing the wall and said, Lord, remember what I have done for you. I want you to understand this thing. Take your prayer as if you are before the judge or you are at court. Before the judgment. And the magistrate or the judge is asking you, what is it that I should do for you? And what is it that you have done on your side? Eh? Take it as if you are at court at the magistrate court and you are to answer. You have to put your case on the table. Hmm. If you've got nothing to put on the table, do you think that magistrate will be lenient to you? Will put grace on you? That's how prayer it is. To say, Lord, remember me. Check what I have done for you. Some of you, you have done things that are having a lot of pride, a lot of malice in, you know, you know, instead of you helping people with their pure heart, you wanted them to be your, your servants. Instead of you helping people with the pure hearts, you wanted to, to, you wanted them to be your laborers. Number two, number three. Pray according to the will of God. That's why I say, if you pray using words because of your emotions, you will never receive uh, results. But if you pray according to the will of God, declaring the goodness of the Lord, to say, oh God, whatever I have done, I have, I, I, uh, I have experienced so many things before you. Oh God, I shall praise you even if you don't answer me. You see, many of you, because God answers at his own time, you, you just give up 
When I say to you, pray for seven days, we are praying for seven days for a miracle to appear. Some of you, you pray two to three days and you are finished and you want results. My friend, you are a joker. Forget. Number four, when you pray unto the Lord, round up your prayer with thanksgiving. Thank God before you can receive what you are looking for. You see, some of you, you have made prophets or, or, or you have made, uh, yes, you have made prophets as idols. I'm not an idol. I'm a child of God. I'm a prophet. I, my experience in the prophetic is vast, is very big uh, because I'm from an African, African background. And also, not only in South Africa, but deep in West Africa, in North Africa. I want you to understand this thing. You must round up your prayer with thanksgiving. Thank God in advance for what you are about to receive. Stop complaining in your prayers. Like I said, you, you, you must take your prayer as if you have appeared before the judgment. When you appear before the judgment... Put your case on the table. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. You are wasting your time. So now when I give you instructions, my friend, I am sure, Masoto Paridagala, I am sure that you are going to receive your results. But the problem is you are praying the wrong way. The problem is your intentions are not good. The problem is you are not committed into your prayer. The problem is you are still doubting. The problem is you are still complaining. The problem is you want God to answer your own time and your own way. You are wrong. My name is Mama Sia Wan. I love you. Shalom.